What is good? We're back. Ready for some action. Got some trade targets for you today. (laughs) Season just finished up, but Dynasty is never over. So we're going to throw a couple of trade targets your way. We're going to throw us a couple. We'll take a couple. (laughs) Um, Hey, make sure that you... uh... Oh, yeah, get it in. Get it in. No, we save it till the end. Make it worth your while. Um, so we got we're gonna we're gonna do the running backs uh, right off the rip. Then we'll have some receivers and we'll have some tight ends. Um, we got dynasty stash videos. We got rookie stuff, a mock, worth the first, all sorts of other stuff on the channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Um, on the stash videos, there's gonna be you know maybe is that some, like, is some, it like a mustache video, a, a, a mustache. You did not play to that mustache at all <laughs> when you did that. Um, there's going to be some crossover there so you can go back and watch you know go back and find those on the on the stash dynasty stash videos stash on, house. The, on the cheaper end of of things so we'll we'll cross that bridge when we when we get there on certain topics so um the first one on my trade for list is i'm going jk dobbins we talked about jk dobbins on our what does the jk stand for does anybody know? just kidding i have no idea there you go um we could probably get our best guy on that. Um, and then I'll, we'll, I'll we'll, give it a shot. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> JK, we, we talked about it on our Monday live streams when he was kind of coming back. You know, should, should you sell him? Should you not sell him? It was like, ah, maybe if you could get a first for him on a certain team, like, yeah, maybe you, maybe you should get rid of him. Um, JK Lynn. But, duh, duh. But uh, I see what goes by JK. Now that we're back in action here, now there there was, you know, a little bit of, oh, what's up with his gait or, you know, how he moves. It did look weird. Uh, Are you talking about during the season or in the preseason? During the season. when he, in the preseason, he had that video in practice and everyone right. was fucking. So why he got, do I care about his fence? <laughs> it's how he, how it's he moves. It's a medical term, Matt. Um, you heathen. Um, read a book. Get some toilet paper that has words on it. He can't walk right. <laughs> Um, went back, got that thing cleaned up. Now he's now he's been back for a little while, and, and the numbers are looking good. He had the long run. Um, what happened to Jesus helping him get back the first time? Well, he said, you know, Jesus told him to get that thing cleaned up. He said the doctors were saying it was right, and he he woke up in the middle of the night and said, you know, they told him that he needed to get it cleaned up again. So he did, and he feels better. And you know, wilding it, it, out. It's gonna be it's gonna be imperative that he doesn't get hurt through this playoff run here. Imperative. Um, to, to really hold the value up. But what's also um, could could hurt our trade target here a little bit. Obviously, if he gets hurt, you probably don't want to trade for him. But we're about to get a standalone game here. Now, Lamar isn't playing, so that's going to hurt a little bit. But it hasn't hasn't really crushed him here. But, the you know, they got the Bengals coming up. But these standalone games are, are huge movers for uh, value in the in the court of public opinion because you know as much as you'd like to think that everybody in your league is watching all these games and and yada 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 they're really not they're either catching the red zone they're watch, watching the box scores all that stuff they're fucking um, hanging out with their kids or something dumb on sunday so you have a game where you know pretty much there isn't anything else to watch this is what you're going to see so you know these guys who do well in these playoff scenarios even if it's in a loss are going to then you know help to carry out Gabe Davis as you know comes to mind it needs to be and, a ridiculous game it do, no well it doesn't need to be that ridiculous for a guy like JK Dobbins like Gabe Davis he's been doing well and unknown the last four weeks in full disclosure we're recording this before this playoff game sure. and it will probably be released after the playoff game so an unknown or not as highly of a of a ranked or drafted player like a, Dobbins could have been easily your one two one three in a rookie draft a few years ago had some injuries, um, but these kind of games can can I think really catapult you. It doesn't even have to be. I don't think it needs to be outrageous. If it is outrageous, forget about it. But you know I think it could really steady up the value and even increase it a little bit here. Um, but like you said b- before this. Um, playoff game going in here weeks 14 15 16 and 17 uh didn't play in week 18 which good for him um good for the ravens and good for the ravens bummer no lamar it is a huge bummer that there's no lamar um but he had 57 attempts for 397 yards the yards that's good for number one in that time span 
Um, and he's averaging 7.0 yards per attempt. Um, now that is hot fire. That is, uh, I believe third, but cook and Jordan Mason are the other two guys above him. And those guys have 20 attempts and 17 attempts and they're 7.8 and like 7.1 and or something like that. And attempts. he has 57. Tied for second. He's tied for second. He has 57 attempts in that time. Right. So, you know, those, are, those aren't really and super duper comparable. Triple the yards. Right. 3.47 yards after contact. Um, 10 plus runs or, uh, or more design runs 13 that's good for number one same category but with design runs of 15 plus or more seven number one in that category so the reason why uh dobbins may have been the one two or one three because of that spark score freak athlete and that obviously put up good numbers we'd like to see a little more receiving but we haven't necessarily seen that in the ravens um repertoire and then you know tied for fifth and breakaway percentage 44.3 uh percent uh, only one one TD in this uh, run from 14 through 17. But again, playing with the backups, the opportunities are as they would be if Lamar was in there running this offense. Um, and only two targets in this time, which, you know, is going to be like a yeah, but six targets in the first two games, though, of the season before he went back out to get his knee cleaned up. So that was obviously with Lamar. Um, now you do have Gus with another year there, uh, but. You just need a few targets with a guy like J.K. when when you're putting up numbers like that. Uh, week 14, 15 for 120. That's eight per carry with a touchdown. 15, 13 carries, 125 yards, 9.6 a carry. Uh, week 16, 12 carries, 59 yards. Week 17, 17 carries, 93 yards, 4.9 and 5.5 uh, yards per attempt through all that whole run. So J.K. Dobbins is, is kind of rounding back into form. We just need him to get through the stretch healthy and get a nice healthy offseason. Um, and I think we can see an even bigger explosion. Now, we're doing a mock draft right now. I believe, where was J.K. Dobbins taken? Was it he the slid. sixth round? For sure. I was eyeing him for a while and just couldn't pull the trigger. 6-11 uh, he went. And then now this is with rookies, and it's a super flex tight end premium. Um, with the... Uh, so, sick, almost, basically seventh round J.K. Dobbins, which, you know, again, tells me... Hey, there, there, there's still a window of opportunity here open for J.K. Dobbins. So. Sure. So my counter to that, because I know people are probably going to be mad about this. I don't know. I feel like I don't know what the sentiment is in the Dynasty Twitter community on J.K. Dobbins. Uh, it used to be really strong on. Well, that because that opinion resonates with. Sure, the viewers. Then because you take advantage just, of the group thing, right? Right. But they don't want to hear that shit, and they they Good. tune out. That, right. That, that reaffirms then, the point even more. Right. Well, th my question would be: Should he almost should should he be on the sell list because his yeah. his value is so far down, and now he has made a bit of a comeback, and it's like he's one more injury away from being like, oh, geez. That everybody's you know? one more injury away from saying, oh, geez. Every, the most everyone and, is. And like I let this not off everyone's with. everyone's like been as banged up as he sure, has. Sure, but I mean, I'm, I'm just saying everyone's an injury away from their value. Not Maybe not plummeting, but taking a hit. He, he was pretty much spotless injury-wise through college. It stinks that he got hurt. Um, and and I, I, I've said with full transparency that when we were doing these Monday shows and he came back for a, a week, I think it was, and then he went back out. He had a, had a decent game. I think he scored two touchdowns or maybe even three um, at some point. And, and you you were in the camp of, oh, no, yeah, you, I'm, I'm, you got to be interested in, in J.K. Dobbins. And I'm like, yeah, no, maybe, maybe, maybe you take a hold of this and, and sell it. But it was more in a rebuilding manner that i was saying and, and and if you're rebuilding then certainly you're not built you shouldn't be buying jk dobbins you should be going in probably another direction for the most part but if the value is right he's not that old um and i think he can rat you know the fact that he's putting up these numbers coming off the injury and had it cleaned up and taken care of and feels good um and we can you know we can he can gain confidence and and uh gain that athleticism back it's you know most, most of it's going to be confidence um i, I think is is huge so I would I'd put him in in a in a buy window because I I do think that there is the value hasn't hasn't gone back up now we could be this could be out the playoff game had he he carried them to victory he's got three touchdowns and 120 yards and maybe maybe it climbs up two more rounds before we this video even comes out but right now being drafted in the seventh round um, I think it's outstanding value and I would I would be seeing if. People were like-minded like I was, like-minded like you're saying, maybe the general public is, uh, on selling J.K. Dobbins, and uh, I, I would be, he's a buy right now for me. Scoop of that beautiful butterfly. 
Who who do you you gotta you gotta buy for us, Matthew? Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders. Of course, I've got a Penn State player on this yeah. list. Of <laughs> course, just screaming infidelities together. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Why so, would we not? What, why, so many confessionals. We talked about all the confessionals. We talked about Miles with John Bauer a while ago. Yeah. Um, I think that his value has gone down since we talked with JB because he kind of ended the season kind of lacklusterly, we'll say it. Kind Boy, of a little he. more in Miles Sanders fashion mm-hmm. of what we come to expect. I was. Yes. It's because I went in all in on him and was excited about him. And yeah, of course, as soon as as soon as I get excited about Miles Sanders, he he lets me down. Yeah, I mean he's he's a DJ Moore of but running the, the exact opposite. Was once you started shitting on DJ Moore, he started scoring <laughs> yeah, points. Exactly. <laughs> Apparently, he just needed not Baker Mayfield. But Miles Sanders, why is Miles Sanders a so? Uh, lie Sanders had his best best year of his career rushing wise. Uh, Three hundred four, uh, two hundred fifty nine attempts, twelve hundred seventy one yards, and eleven touchdowns. That was more than he had scored in his career combined. He only had nine touchdowns rushing. Combined. Touchdowns, so combined. Yeah. What a loser. <laughs> yeah. Zero rushing touchdowns last year. The entire year. Zero rushing touchdowns. That's incredible. And then people are going to say, oh, Miles Sanders can't catch the ball. He caught 50 passes as a rookie. People say that? Yes. Yeah. Think it says. Yeah. He caught 50. Think it's high. 50, can't understand you. Caught 53 passes as a rookie for 517 yards. Now, he is going to be 26 in May. He's going to be 27 in May. Well, I've got that he's 25. 26 right now. in May. That's correct. My math was wrong. Sorry. 26, whatever. Do the math, bro. Whatever. We're seeing these guys playing till 27, 28. We're talking about this guy. You can probably get him yeah. right now. I'm saying if you offer an early second for Sanders, the, there's a decent chance that deal is going to get done. Nobody's going to like hearing that. Also, again, not uh, super high tread on or low tread, however you want to. The mileage isn't super high on. You yeah. want you want a lot of tread. That right. means you can use that tire for a oh, while. Oh, yeah. There's at least 12, 30 well, seconds well, left. When we talked about this last time, JB, and I believe you, I think, said that Whatever JB, what JB and I are locked. The idea, the ideal <laughs> spot would be coming back to the Eagles. I said no, I want a new spot. He is doesn't have a contract. I want a Correct. new spot for Sanders to try to get more of a workhorsey role and not be. Obviously, the touchdowns were great this year, but uh, which is you know a- outstanding. The fact that how many Jalen Hurts rushed in himself, and then yeah. they throw a Boston Scott in there and Can't and, gain and well. gain well. Yeah. So yeah, get sure. me out of this three four headed committee and give me a chance to get Miles Sanders in a little bit of a role here for two or three years. Yeah, um, I think I think I'm 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 into your camp now as well too. Yeah, December ADP of sixty nine <laughs> in <laughs> one quarterback league. Nice. Uh, nine 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 in nine this in draft the Superflex league. That's that what I'm saying right now. Yeah. And the ha- the tenth nine round. times. How many rookies had gone by then? I, I don't have a count. But. Probably a fair amount, right? So early 2-1 in a super flex draft, which that's what that mock is, you're, you're in that second tier of running backs, right? You want Miles Sanders over Sean Tucker and Charbonnet and Tank Bigsby, Sean Evans, Zach Evans, excuse me. Kendry Miller, you want you want Miles Sanders over all right those guys? Now? Yeah, I think I do. I think I want the shiny new object. Well, you're Barney Stinson. New is always better. Yeah. Well, I mean, it it, it depends. You know, you're not you're, always, but in this instance, <laughs> it also you know uh, uh, again, it's all about where you're going, what you're doing. Right. This isn't a real uh, yeah. trade here. Yeah. This is a yeah. I think Sanders can be had on um, on on if if the value's right, you should be a. Acqu- you should be acquiring assets regardless right. of whether you're rebuilding or not. If well, but if you're rebuilding and you acquire a 26 year old running back, you're never going to turn him into more than what you just well, paid. That's for not, true yeah, well, that, that's right. not true that's at all. That's not true at all. Even if he's he, good, it's the opposite of what he just said, which I agree with. It, when we talk about it, like, hey, you know, if they're older, you're probably not acquiring on the rebuild. But if the value does get to a certain point where it's outrageous, you got to pounce. Yeah. And then when Miles Sanders is having a nice stretch, or even when Miles Sanders signs a new contract somewhere else, there'll probably be a bump. So you yeah. can't, if it's right, I agree. Um, so you shouldn't just be like, oh, I'm, there's no reason you can't let your entire you can't let your entire team strategy away from taking away from taking away from value. I agree. It's the value is is pretty much the only thing that matters in dynasty. Yeah, in exactly. Fantasy football. So I that's I agree. Um I don't right. think an early two is super valuable. Like I don't think that's a good value for Miles Sanders. That's maybe more properly rated. I think it's a little low. 
Because you're not going to get a first for him if you're trying to rebuild and sell him, right? You're never going to get a first. I think people, any Sanders, Sanders owner's probably going to want the late. Is going to want a late first. Yeah, I mean, He's I'm coming not, I'm off not paying that. I'll, 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 I'll either package Sanders up or throw him in that in that mid two category if I'm looking for a running back. You know, you're but, saying he came off his best year. He was RB15 in PPR. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, well, that's because the Eagles weren't throwing the ball to the running back. And, and the usage is, is it was Yeah, they let Chunks Scott befuddling. and Gainwell and right. all these other dudes take yeah. take It's there. If he, if he can get in a spot where he's a 1A and stays on the field. Yeah, we need him to be a 1A, part. not a 1A, not a 1, not a 1, not a 1B. And you know what I mean? I, I mean, you, you know what I mean? Like, right. He 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 is the one A in that committee, but that one A in that committee isn't like a. Normal if he could go to Arizona and get Connor like usage, if, if, that's not happening to anybody. No one's getting Connor. <laughs> well, just, no one's getting you know, Connor. You know what like I mean? Usage. If he could just go somewhere and be the lead guy, and then there's a there's a Robin in there who comes in every once in a while, and you know, if it, he could be the David Montgomery in Chicago, the way Chicago was this past year, I mean, he doesn't need eighty percent of the touches. If you can get him. You know what I mean? If you yeah. can get him sixty percent of the touches, I mean every he, time. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And get throw him the damn ball. He can clearly catch. Agreed. Agreed. I think he's a serviceable, serviceable pass catcher out of the backfield. Yeah. Agreed. I'm just back on the not liking Miles Sanders train because. Well, good. That means he's about to go off. Yeah, that means probably there's more people that don't feel like, like Miles that. Sanders. So the value. Maybe you give in the early two. Um, he loves him. I'm not a big fan. I, I'd, I'd, I'd probably go 50-50 on that. I, I'd probably say in some regards, yes, and in other regards, no. Um, I'm going to try to figure out a way to get less less than. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to pay my – I'm not going to show my full cards. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to offer the mid-two. If I have a mid-two versus early two, I'm going to offer the mid-two first. Mid-two sounds a little more like – in the ballpark because that's might be the pick you have if you're like a decent team wanting to acquire a guy to help you make a push for a championship nobody wants to watch the let's push for a championship video they want the rebuild video so no one likes miles sanders no one likes any running back basically all the running backs fucking suck to everybody out there because everybody is watching these other bogus shows and you're having to rebuild all the time (laughs) shots fired (laughs) if you're always putting out a rebuild video maybe you're giving bad advice (laughs) fuck out of here you should only you should be like the Ravens. You never rebuild. You just uh retool. Just draft well. Uh-oh. I would want with Duke. Yeah. Duke? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just reload. Yep. It's college. It's a little different, though. You know, it's a little Everybody unf- knows what you're place. talking about. It's an unfair oh, playing oh field. Always in the margins of the details. Jesus. Of just, just ruining. The Ravens, Steelers, Packers, you know, that's we're let's stay in the NFL lane, you know, college. There's, it's the point is, is there's meat on unfair. the Miles Sanders bone. There's there's athlete athleticism. And I don't even think we haven't seen the ceiling. We've seen chunks of what could be the ceiling. Athlete athleticism. <laughs> like that. That's some dyslexia. Of a, um, another form there. There's meat on the bone there. And, and I do think you just said beat on the there's bone. meat on the moan. <laughs> um. So I, th- I think there is I, th- I think that's a good I think it's a good idea good 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 trade target there. So. All right, who's next? I mean, honestly, would you tell me if my trade target was bad? Oh, for sure. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, okay, no, good. I don't no doubt. Straight I'll facts. Tell one, anyone. I don't hundred. Shit. No cap. <laughs> yeah, I don't. We're not gonna beat around the bush around here. Maybe if you were a guest and I didn't like first time guest, I'd be like, yeah, maybe. Yeah. We were trying to make you feel good. You get off yeah. the air, and I'd be like, that guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> you never done, having him back. You've on again. done that before. Yeah. <laughs> And then you had no. The thing is, you've done that before, and you've had people back on, and you just continue to bitch about them. Yeah. Well, no more. Well, well you, have, you see, Riley hasn't been back on, so no, I'm yeah. Just <laughs> it's I'm not, just, I'm, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, Riley, come back on. We're not, <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit the next guy. Um, and we we kind of had some a little bit more pricey guys here. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop maybe down a tier here and go Alexander Madison. What? Riley was texting me about the uh, the center from Penn State. He says he loves him. I'm like, thanks, Riley. <laughs> you got it. It went from six to midnight. No, I, no, I know he's good. That means you got his an first erection. name is. Yeah, I've seen. I, I've seen. Um, uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall. <laughs> you just thought about the th- thought about a Penn State player and inside like, of you. Oh gosh. I don't. I can't think of, of too many guests that we've bitched about and had back on. I mean, and, and that we didn't battle on air too. So it wasn't like we coddled balls ever you know what i mean oh, like coddled suckled <laughs> suckled 
All right, I'm Alexander going, Madison. I'm going Alexander Madison here. Um, again, a little bit older. Uh, he's 24, be 25 in June. But well, yeah, uh, we're not saying oh, trade for Brees Hall. Yeah, you should trade for Brees Hall. Right. Well, that's you know you can put out a trade video and put the top five running backs in there, and and that that you know that's a trade video. But well, you know we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of work around some of that. I and mean, I'm gonna go Alexander Madison here. Hasn't been picked in that draft. I think we're in With the eleventh, eleventh, twelfth round somewhere. We in there. are in the eleventh round. Um. So you know right where this is the first kind of look at startup next year and that that'll all change but i'm saying right now you know can can, can, can i just go real yeah. quick aside in that draft tyler algier should not be going four rounds after damian pierce Ooh, boy not even fucking mm, close mm, mm. not even close i mean maybe just three rounds um four rounds <laughs> no love for my guy he'll 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 get his due but it's it, it's just it seems it seems more likely that there's replaceability on that end than the than the pierce end but probably it's it's probably the same so it's not cool to like tally or algier well, it's yeah, not it's really not. that cool to like damien pierce no, either so it's, it's not you cool take damien no I, oh, okay I, I skipped him he on went, one and, and just really I, you know it's a it's a mock so there's guys that how i far they fall there's guys that i skipped that that I'll just let doing? I didn't even happened. turn the light on. Idiot. So Idiot. back to Alexander Madison, 24 B 25 in June. A lot of, uh, a lot low, of low tread mileage, left a lot of tread, uh, good, good set of tires. Um, he's 5'11, 220. Want to re kind of acclimate you with, you know, who else is 5'11, 220. Who's that? Tyler Algier. <laughs> Madison coming from Boise. Uh, just hate, giving you a little brush up on, on Alexander Madison. Hated here. watching that film. Uh, yeah, the blue anybody at the blue turf is tough. Um, you know, I, I was he was in a trade trade target for me last year in anticipation that hey, there's one more year on this contract, get in early, and now you know, which twenty one he had some decent games in. Now this year, not really a whole lot of usage. Um, they drafted some other guys, but they were Dalvin mostly stayed healthy and, and was their guy. Uh, new coach, uh, new scheme. Uh, but I just wanted to point out a couple of games here with Madison of of kind of th- there's a starting running back here, and there the 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 court of public opinion, which we talk about a lot here, has been in Madison's favor quite a bit. It, it's it's propped up his value for the first couple of years. Now it's fallen off a little bit. And, and again, 22, he didn't have a whole lot of usage. So I think it's a nice time to, again, double down and pounce in. Uh, but in, in 21, um, there, there's two games, three games in 21 with, with you know, a starting-like role. Um, and 26 carries, 112 yards, uh, eight targets, six receptions, 59 yards um, in, in, that, in that game. Um, and then another, the next game is 25 Carries 113 yards, zero touchdowns, seven for seven in the target reception category, 40 yards and a touchdown. Uh, and then the third game in that in that 21 season, uh, 22 carries, 90 yards, a touchdown, three for three, 34 yards, uh, and I believe two receiving touchdowns there. Or no, tw- sorry, 21.4 uh, PPR points there. Sound like RB1 numbers to me. All, all over 4.0 a carry. Um, so, you know, just – Pointing out that when he does have games where he gets usage, and that was 21, um, that there's that's 23 points, 26 points, 21 points. That's what you're looking for. 32 receptions in 21 with that limited role there. So there's pass catching ability there. Um, there's obviously run ability. There's he can he can get to the goal line and get you some touchdowns. Um, and then in 20, uh, had had a couple other decent games where he. Touched the ball over 20 times, 20 carries, 112 yards, zero touchdowns, three for three, 24 yards in the reception uh, and target category there, 5.6 a carry. And then 21 attempts, 95 yards, a touchdown, three for three, 54 yards, and a touchdown uh, in the receiving category there, 4.5 in that game. So basically just kind of going back over the last three years, he didn't have any games where he had, I think this last game in Chicago, he might have had 10 or 12, 54 yards, and, and maybe two touchdowns. Or one touchdown uh, for Madison in this last game, getting a little bit of run with Dalvin. Yeah, Dalvin got banged up. Got a little banged up there at the end, and and again, just putting putting together a nice piece of tape there for you. So, I think Madison, if you jump in now, you may could even get out before, like just like we were talking about with Sanders, you might could even get out if he signs somewhere and is all of a sudden got a a, a surefire role somewhere. Um, now, it isn't the best year uh, for the running back landscape because it does seem like we are going to get some depth out there now it'll be 
you know, interesting to see how what the draft capital is on these guys. Um, well, you know. the nice thing is, is we'll have free agency before the draft. So right. the couple of these guys, hey, you can hedge your bets a little bit and say, right. hey, these they, they could draft someone. Maybe I'll just if you got them in a couple places, it may not be a, a bad idea to diversify and hedge a little bit. Sell them after free agency pre draft. Yeah, you, you could potentially do that. Um, and I just I think I think there's value in trade. And some meat on this bone as well for the Alexander Madison. I prefer crowd. beat on the moan. Beat on the moan. Gotta love some beat on the moan. Um, so Madison, uh, a trade target uh, for I would, me. I would say there are times when I'm not sure if that's Madison or Cook out there. Oh my gosh, it's so you know? hard. And not just because they have the same hair, you know. Well, and the numbers are close, and two and four. Yeah. It's, it's like that they have a similar build. I think I think Madison's a little bit bigger. Madison yeah. might be a little bigger, but. And, and Dalvin's definitely more like bendy, curvy, linear sure. movement and a little more long speed. So you can tell when they, they get out in the open field. But close quarters running through the tackles, like especially in the red zone, I'm not sure if that's Madison or Cook sometimes. So I think that's a good, you know, what what are you, what are you going to pay for Madison at this point? Well, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, you don't, again, you're not going to give up that that higher two but we're like i said we're in the 11th round right now in a startup draft and he's not even off the board yeah um so you know see if I can find any there's, there's plenty of him. there's plenty of veterans out there there's plenty of guys out there that you could incorporate you know i'm going to bring up two guys here on the on this next thing it's not necessarily like you don't want to go just throwing out that you want to get madison from somebody you want to build a trade and get madison involved try to drive the value as much as far down as you can on madison you know, you get a trade where maybe these guys aren't quite equal and and, and you use Madison to, to, to prop that value up to equal tiers. Um, so, you know, I, a late two, I would I'd send you for Madison. I mean, just 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 for the it's probably ask for the three back. It's probably. Yeah. I mean, you probably don't want to do that. But, yeah, you could ask for the three back. Uh, but I, I don't know that you need to do that. I don't know how excited anybody is about Madison at this particular juncture. Again, we're in the 11th round and he's not off the board. Um, how how much do people know? If you own him, maybe you know that the contract's up. Maybe you don't. We're only going 13 rounds in this mock. I could see him not even getting right. drafted. I mean. Right. So, you know, the idea of Alexander Madison, it, it seems like a, a nice little buy here. I don't think you want to go throwing out the two for Madison right now, you're going to, you want, I want to try to backdoor my way into Madison a little bit more. Got you. Uh, All right. I saw the right. I remember reading a port before the season started that there was 13 teams interested in Madison before the season started. Yeah. Again, there's a lot of running backs coming out um, and some running back free agency, obviously. Um, so there's going to be a lot of moving parts and pieces and, and he could find himself in a really nice situation uh, moving forward. I mean, Maybe maybe he's Miami's guy. Maybe he's you know who, who knows if you don't want to draft a running back and 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 you you're probably not gonna have to pay him a whole lot. You can bring him in probably for two years and you know get yourself a relatively cheap potential workhorse. Uh, so Take go ahead and, and and jump in now on the Alexander Madison sweepstakes. Yeah. All right. Who's next? Who you got, Matt? So my last guy is a little bit higher end option, and that would be one Najee Harris. Right. So we talked about him a couple weeks ago as well, too, um, as a buy option because he's looked pretty strong the last couple weeks. Looked strong again this past week. Definitely seems to be over that foot issue that was bothering him preseason. Um, we talked about him getting that steel plate out. But he recently went in that mock. I think he went 5-5. Five, five, I took him. Yeah. Yeah. He broke a major rule of engagement. <laughs> so yeah, 5-6. Five, 5-6, six. Five, six, sorry. Top gun Close enough. quote. Yeah, Close I was enough. excited. It's like, fuck it. I mean, even the super let's flex. Let's go he get a going, dub. Yeah, he was going to get a win. Second round. I mean, let's, let's go get a fucking should have an win. Imp- should have an improved offensive line in 2023. You have to imagine they have to address the offensive right. line. Started issues. to right. play better towards the end of the year. Kenny Pickett was picking it up. Like yeah. they should have made the fucking I drafted, playoffs. Like, I drafted Pickett after I drafted Pickett in that league after being down on him preseason because he's been playing well down the stretch, and I think he's got some he's got some sneaky rushing upside there. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he's looked very composed in, in that offense, especially late in games. Um, but back to Harris, I mean, 
He's shown you elite elite receiving upside. Now I think part of that was from Ben because sure he was just trying to get the ball out quick. But you're also record catching time. You're yeah. catching flashes of it right now. Yeah, and I think you're building a rapport with him and with with Pickett and Najee. Yes, and I think having a full off season of Pickett as the starter is going to help that as well too. Say, so, hey, you know what I mean? Hey, man, I'm open. You know what right. I mean? Throw and maybe ball. a new OC seems like likely. I talked to uh, JB, who's a Pittsburgh native. It seems he said all signs point to new OC. Yeah, Canada. The Canada offense is just. I don't. I don't know that that Pickett and that whole team is a good fit for that offense. But right, maybe Matt Lafleur comes down to Pittsburgh. Who knows? Ooh, I like that. I think. I think all. 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 Buying of the Najee Harris is is we was worth the first in the last video that right. we did. Right, go check that video th- out. We went we went at it for like twenty minutes on why he was worth the first and I, even what first you'd be trading to get him. I, yeah, and this tells me you're getting him for a late first. And then proving out in this draft right here that nobody wanted Najee Harris five five. I mean, that's fucking awesome, man. I'll yeah. I'll take that all day long. And I, I know, again, I know, you know the 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 athletic uh, queens. You know they're they're not going to be. You could pretty much put every single RB on this list of trade targets. They're not happy about this, but I mean, I, I think Najee's just a different breed, and and we're seeing the best of them right now, and remind giving you a little nudge and a reminder of, hey, I'm I'm fucking I'm pretty elite, uh, you know, my own. If I could just if I can keep the rushing upside, and we can keep moving this offense and giving me opportunities to score touchdowns, let's go. Yeah, nobody wants a running back. If you're not Brees Hall. Or Kenneth Walker. Nobody yeah, likes I mean, you. Yeah, the top or four or five. Yep. So go get you any fucking running back. Yeah, and they're, I think they're all going to be. A, the, I think all of those guys who are coming, especially those guys, the, the Sanders, the Madisons, the Montgomerys, those guys are all of value to me right now because they could be. We've seen it from them. Yeah, we've seen it from them. We, and they, they could be the starter for their team next year. There was a report that came out today that said that Ryan Poles wants to resign David Montgomery. Now I don't know how much of that is just right. How much of that is him just blowing maybe, smoke maybe up? Maybe helping, butts, maybe helping his guys value a little bit. Trying like to get that. him a little extra That's money. Nice, yeah, yeah, fuck, yeah. I was like, why would they do that? But maybe just being, you know, showing that he cares about his guys. Yeah, but there's some there's some appetizing landing spots coming up here. Yeah, you know what I mean with Miami. 100%. Miami, I think I don't know who knows what the Rams are going to do. Cam Akers came on very strong at the end of the mm-hmm. season. So I don't, I don't throw him on here. See them on there. Yeah, yeah, almost threw him on there. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, we got plenty of time. He went. In the, he <laughs> went. In, uh, what did he go in the in the ninth in the tenth round? Yeah, he went really late in this draft. Yeah, and there was even some people some were hate, mad about some hate in the chat. I'd sell immediately draft. for a two if you could get it for Acres, and I was like, I could see holding. I could definitely see holding for a two. I get it. I get it. You're mad. I get it. He's yeah. been injured. He was almost dead. You want to cash out for a two? I get it. Understandable. But my man's at, and then they try. They they threw like a. Rushing yards, yards expected, expected over play college. or something in college, and then I guess they were trying to say there is context built into that stat, yeah, that, taking that's, offensive that's lines the into over expected part. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know how he did anything with that offensive line. He was still breaking off bomb ass. Yeah, that offensive plays. line was ass at Florida State, by the way. Yeah, and I, it, I don't know if you can tell a man's vision from a graph. So, well, it was it was? I guess we're talking about Cam Akers here, so. <laughs> it was basically, I never really loved Cam Akers because it was into the line, into the line, into the so line, into the line, into the line, and then bust one. That was kind of like what the tape was, yeah, that, what you, it was. You but know what else that sounds like as well, too? Sounds like fucking Saquon Barkley. Sh- sure, but well, you saw it was it was different with Saquon. Sure, like, no, you're talking to the Saquon, Saquon fanboy Saquon here. Saquon queen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but the thing was that Saquon was. queen. Yeah, at Saquon, it was negative one, negative two, zero, seventy. Yeah. So no, I, I do think there's some some buy in acres, but let's keep it moving. Um, do we have anybody else? I got I got I got two more, and they're kind of together, and, and I think it's piggybacking off of you know you were saying those free agents of Montgomery and Sanders from that kind of class, Jacobs. Um, and I'm going to throw a Singletary in the mix here, and I'm going to put uh, Damian Harris. We'll kind of put these guys together here. Um, Singletary was RB22 this year. I know it's, you know nothing spectacular nothing to write home about he's not getting though he's not getting that many looks that's also part of the problem right and neither is this video after you bring up devin singletary <laughs> well we're way <laughs> we're way deep in there i didn't lead off with devin singletary yeah, thank god um and, and this is more of a you know we've kind of talked about how how your team's structured and who you're trading for this is going to be the better teams in the league 
again, you're not going to necessarily throw out a, a round value on these guys to somebody. You're going to build a trade because if I know you and I have a team, uh, UDPL, Damian Harris, I could give a fuck less about Damian Harris on that team that last year. And when it was when it was time to do deals, I'd throw him in every deal just to try to get it over the top and done because I don't care about Damian Harris because I'm rebuilding. And I, I know kind of what Damian Harris is at this point. I don't really necessarily need that guy on my team. But if I'm a winning team and I've got a good roster, I know nobody fucking gives a shit about death, which is, you know, why you're saying why you're putting these guys in here. Everybody's going to leave. And, you know, if you're not if you're not in the top five guys and you're not having a trade video about the top five guys or talking about the top five guys, then get the fuck out because they're not super elite. But these guys can give you 10 to 12 to 16 points a game um, if they just get their opportunities. Um, and Devin Singletary is probably not staying in Buffalo. And I don't know what Damian Harris will do. It seems very Patriot like to bring Damian Harris back. Um, but he does kind of fit that mold. But, you know, our RB22 for, for Singletary. Um, was that in PPR or standard? That was PPR. Really? Um, okay. and, and he actually was, I, I think, uh, I'm trying to pull it up right now. Um, I believe Devin Singletary had some of his better just all around years this year. Um, let's see here. I've got 23 in PPR, but that's just sleeper. Yeah. Well, that's t- whatever. 22, 23. Close enough. Um, so, you know, 819 yards this year, 4.6 a carry, which is basically 4.6, 4.6, 4.1, 5.1 4.1 was his career. So career average of 4.7. Um, and the receiving, I think, was stupid. Yeah, I'm looking at the receiving stats now. It was way hot, better than you thought it was. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, 38 grabs for 280 yards. Right. So he's the ability is there. He's usually high up in missed tackles forced. Is he super duper athletic as far as speed? No, but like he's kind of that guy in a phone booth who's hard to fucking tackle. He's motor, very old motor. Um, and very know, shifty. They, they, they were when they did commit to giving Singletary chunks of 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 run he was usually pretty successful at it uh, and same with damian harris damian harris can score from the goal line damian harris is you know pretty good all around player that was always kind of my thing of damian harris he's not necessarily great at any one thing but i think he's good all around um and i think the patriots kind of showed you that when he gets his run he had a stretch run there uh last year where plenty of 100 yard games and touchdowns in there when given you especially know, 15, when 15 16 out right 15 16 attempts that, that both of these guys can get it done and i think on on this is more of a on a rebuilding team that's not very good the value that they're going to have on harris and singletary is not going to be very good because they, they're, they're just going to view them as mad guys yeah they're just going to want to dump them yep. kind of guys if we're talking uh you know the, the the new vernacular very mid uh players there is that i don't think right? that's that new no well, whatever you know i'm 34 so you know, gets, it's all Gucci gets to me last um, at this point, or maybe my dad uh, usually passes to him. Um, <laughs> you don't know about that. Um, Jesus, <laughs> I don't um, know my dad. That's I want to hear your dad. I want to hear your dad say, "Casey, that's no cap." <laughs> <laughs> my dad would rather die. Um, he just says things like "groovy" still. So <laughs> you know where you know where he's at. Far out, man. That's bitching. <laughs> Um, so just wanted to throw those guys in there. I think, I think they're good players, probably not sexy, not that much fun, but on a good roster for depth building throughout injuries, or you got a long, you got, you got a big roster and big amount of starters. You could throw them in at at a bottom flex there at a moment's notice. Um, and both of them are, are not under contract and have chances to go somewhere else. Well, they seem um, like good trade targets if you're trying to do a little flip action as well, too. Uh, sure. And I think I that's mean, kind of the I, theme I, I of what we have that, going on here. I don't think bit. that even if they sign in a bad spot, their value is going to go down all that Basically much. Basically pretty much stay neutral. Yeah. But right. if they go up, you know what I mean? Maybe they one of them signs in Miami or something like that. Hey, maybe you take a look. Maybe one of them signs in Philadelphia. You know what right. I mean? Right. I mean, maybe take a look. Hey. To sign on Philly, why would they sign on the running back? And then Philly drafts Bijan at 10, and now you're... I'm going to throw yeah. one more out there right at the end here. We're going to go Eli Mitchell. I know nobody's nobody's going to love that, and Christian's obviously there, but Mitchell is doing his damn thing over there. A little, he probably is pretty cheap. Probably nobody really wants him, but I mean, every time he gets on the field, the Niners are just a different ball club. He, he offers something different. He could, he could possibly give you spot starts if he needed him, even with McCaffrey healthy. He kind of neutralizes a little bit of McCaffrey's upside when he's out there. He could break one at any point. Um, and I think, uh, you know, 
just a good player to just stick in your back pocket. And again, he's not somebody you want to go and throw. Or just, just hey, there are certain guys that you throw out there. Hey, let me see if I could just get two straight up. Let me see if I can grab them. So somebody just wants to get a two this right now. One of those guys. now. Again, and then a lot of these guys weren't. They're more build a trade and and target could be, these guys. Could in be the package. someone that you draft and that you grab in your rookie draft as well too. Someone's on the clock and say, hey, look, you want this guy? Throw me Elijah Mitchell. I think right. you get some decent deals done that way. Yeah, agreed. Where he drafts, good time to make trades. All right, let's wrap this up. Let's go to wide receivers or tight ends, whichever way you want to go. The we'll listener. Maybe hit the WR. Yeah. Well, the but listener gotta, at this point could probably go any which way he wants. So. You got to check the next video. Mm-hmm. We'll be back. Peace. Peace.